And there you see, undocking right on time at 6.32 p.m. Central while the Soyuzin station are 263 miles above uh, Russia. Expedition 63 crew efficiently on its way home now. They arrived at the space station on April 9th and have spent 196 days living and working there, greeting the first commercial spacecraft to launch humans into space and completing another link in the almost 20-year-long chain of continuous human presence at the space station. Docking port is clean of any debris. And this view coming from the crosshairs uh, on, uh, from the video uh, camera on board the Soyuz itself. Looking at that Poisk module as it grows further and further away. This view coming from the International Space Station. Okay, this again coming from the Soyuz itself, a view of what the crew sees as they back away from the space station. Plus X. And we confirm depot thrusters. There's that first separation burn. So we use jets firing for just eight seconds to ease it further away from the space station, just over a mile per hour. It is no longer eliminated, and we confirm the maneuver, start of the maneuver. Team on the ground reports a good separation burn. So he is MS-16 now moving away from the space station, about uh, 1.2 miles per hour, and coming up, it's the second separation burn. All right, that's the firing time is 15 seconds. Uh, burn is 15 seconds. That second separation burn uh, lasting, as you heard there, 15 seconds. That will speed the spacecraft up by three and a half miles per hour. Still not moving too fast, but certainly will be coming up later in their journey. You can see the Soyuz moving out there. That second burn uh, puts them a safe distance away from the space station for the ultimate deorbit burn that will drop them back into the Earth's atmosphere at 9 p.m. Put them on a return course for Kazakhstan, landing at 9.55 p.m. Central. A1 command sent. And there is the video we've been waiting on. So we'll use under its parachute making its way down for today's landing. That should be coming up very soon at this point. Just before landing, ammunition will get a notice from the computers to prepare to fire six solid propellant engines called the soft landing engines and slow the Soyuz down to five feet per second or about 3.5 miles per hour. And you can see Soyuz has now touched down in Kazakhstan, 9.54 p.m. Central Time. After 196 days in space, 3,136 orbits, and 83 million miles, Chris Cassidy, Anatoly Ivanishin, and Ivan Bogner are home. It looks like uh, in uh, in Moscow, the flight control team there is beginning to get some video from the actual landing site. We just saw Chris Cassidy being uh, helped out of the Soyuz capsule and onto the to the uh, the tarp where he and the other crew members will be gathering over the next few minutes. Uh, we'll try and get this uh, video for you directly as well. But uh, but that was great to see him uh, see him emerging from the capsule. 
We're getting a little bit more video uh, now as uh, the crew continues to be extracted. Now seeing Yvonne Wagner, this again coming from uh, Roscosmos. Uh, looks like we've got two of the three crew members out now, and we'll keep watching for uh, Anatoly Venetian, who should be up next. You can see a few of the NASA personnel who are gathered out at the landing site. Uh, all of these uh, groups will be making their way back to uh, Rob Navius in uh, uh, meeting them, in, and Jessica's gone, as he mentioned a moment ago. And there is an Antoli Evanition as well out of the capsule. All the crew members looking good. As you can see, as uh, as Rob mentioned, all the people who are meeting them there wearing masks to help protect them, an additional layer of protection, and uh, beyond uh, the quarantine that uh, these these uh, members of the landing team would have gone through as well. Uh, what will happen is uh, Cassidy, Evanition, and Wagner, they'll be loaded into individual helicopters after medical tests in a nearby erected medical tent, and then they'll be flown uh, to uh, from uh, the landing site to Jezka's gone, about a 40-minute helicopter flight that will facilitate and hasten their ability to get on these respective planes, Cassidy on the NASA plane, uh, Evanition, and Wagner on the Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center aircraft, fly back to their respective homes. We'll be uh, flying back, of course, to Houston. They will be flying back to Star City, uh, to the Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center outside of Moscow. Brandy? Rob, if you're still there, I, I, I don't know um, what it is for you in Karaganda, but it looks like the weather's pretty pleasant for the team at the landing site. Yeah, the landing time temperature, Brandy, was about 45 degrees Fahrenheit. A cold front moved through this region uh, late yesterday and overnight and passed uh, just to the east of the landing zone just in time for touchdown. It is cloudy here in Tarragonda, uh, but uh, we're in Jezka's gone where we're headed here a short time from now. Uh, the sun should be out. The landing occurring one hour and three minutes after sunrise, and uh, as we speak, uh, the pilots, the NASA pilots out of Wellington Field nearby the Johnson Space Center are revving up the engines to this NASA Gulfstream jet, and we'll be taking off a short time from now. It's looking like the crew members might be moving into the medical tent before too long as well. We just saw the uh, landing team there uh, it, pausing for a, a group photo. Again, everybody looking really good for having just spent 196 days in space. Though we didn't get a video of uh, the landing itself, we did get reports, and you can just make it out there in the background uh, behind the crowd. The the Soyuz did land upright, and uh, we're able to get confirmation from the teams who met them that uh, the crew was feeling well. Now we're able to see that for ourselves. Everybody looking like they are uh, they are feeling good and should be able to to move on to the medical tent before too long. Rob, do you know if uh, Cassidy has made any special request for food that uh, the team members might have ready for him on the plane? That's a great question, Brandy. And actually, in true SEAL fashion, he made no request. He said whatever was on board uh, would be just fine. As I, as I mentioned, we will have one refueling stop on route to Houston in which there'll be some catering of food uh, for the passengers on board, including Cassidy. I think he's just happy to be home after 196 days in space. Seeing uh, Anatoly Evanition right now, but yes, all the crew members are looking pretty happy to be home. Team members still uh, unloading some of the limited cargo that the Soyuz is able to carry as well. And 
Evanition there being the first to move off towards the medical tent. This again is a tent that is uh, brought uh, with the team that meets the Soyuz at the landing site so that they can get into a protected area to uh, change out of their Sokol spacesuits and uh, go through a few uh, preliminary tests before they then will get on the helicopters for that 40-minute ride that Rob mentioned. Back to Jessica's gone where they'll be met by planes to take them back to their various homes. Evanition and Wagner both on their way now to the medical tent. You can see what that tent looks like in this view. Chris Cassidy looks like uh, making a, a phone call back to home and now on his way to the tent as well. Crew members are, uh, are carried in the chairs just to be extra safe and prevent any possibility of a, a trip as they are experiencing gravity again for the first time in 196 days. Today's landing wraps up a 196-day stay in space for the members of the Expedition 63 crew. With that 196 days added to his total, Chris Casti has now spent 378 days in space over the course of three missions. That puts him number at number five on the list of time spent in space for U.S. astronauts. Anatoly Evanition, meanwhile, uh, also having made three journeys to space now, now has a total of 476 days in space, landing him a spot on uh, the all-time uh, list at, uh, at the 25th place. And Ivan Wagner uh, just completing his first space flight now with 196 days on his total.